Actually, got a chance to watch a movie, which, le which leads us to the second ever segment of a um, McPhee Movie Review Monday. Yeah. Here we go. So, uh, I know we're a sports show, and we'll definitely dive into that, especially in about 10 minutes with Sean Sharania, who broke the news about Kyrie Irving probably not being with the Brooklyn Nets next year. And there's other NFL stuff, I guess, that happened, but we'll talk mostly with Josine in a couple hours with that because she has all the insider and AJ. But the movie that was chosen this past weekend for the reviews here was uh, Casino and Armageddon. Okay. Yes. Didn't get to Armageddon. Okay. So, sure, fair. Sorry about it. Did not get to it. Casino, though, Titanic length film very yes. long diesel i mean that is a diesel. long film yeah. there's a couple different times whenever i had to pause it because i had to go piss my wife and i said how much time is left an hour and a half is left oh uh -huh. yeah holy shit <laughs> this is a long one then we thought we did a little bit of a battle boom you got 50 minutes still left in this whole thing and there was numerous times where i thought i could bow out and probably get it i get it i get it but it kept my attention for three hours oh yeah mm -hmm. i mean it was a pretty good movie and everything that i would like in it casinos sure, obviously right. mafia uh Brutal murders, yeah. yes, just brutal mur baseball bats to faces oh, and stuff. Very ones. brutal. I mean, they're going at, at one point. Nikki actually shot, I think, a woman in the head, his nipple in the head, and his arm in the head. <laughs> yeah, if it was an actual gun, right? Boom, 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 gotta die. Mm -hmm. Sorry about it. Did the whole thing. Um, overall, liked the movie, okay, yeah, liked the movie. There was a moment where he was sitting like this, where he had both of his pinkies up, by yep, the way. Sure. And one of them had a ring on. I appreciated that. Uh, I really did appreciate that. His wardrobe. Uh, his costumes were epic. Well, Rothstein's costumes were epic. Yeah. Nikki was a little bit of a loose cannon. Yeah, he a little was. Bit. I, I think we all knew where that was headed as soon as Nikki moved out to the uh, <laughs> desert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we all, especially in the beginning where he was talking about, uh, you know, you got to dig before... You kill the person, yeah, basically. Because right. if not, hard. you're going to spend 30, 45 minutes out there digging before you even get there, and who knows who's going to show up. So I think we kind of got it. We kind of got the points. Obviously, at the beginning, you see the the thing blow up. That was a little bit... I thought he was dead. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was how he died. Turns out, it was not how he died. No, no. Uh, but the whole ginger thing, okay. you know, kind of made me think, oh, this guy's a stitch. Like, uh, mm. you know... Wedding day, that phone call with Lester, the guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, fucking need to end it now. Yeah, guy's what are a we, bum. What are we doing right now? Then there was numerous other times where I'm like, what is Ace doing? Oh, yeah. This guy runs an entire $100 million casino. He's fucking out there doing this whole thing. Obviously, doesn't have a license. That, yeah. <laughs> no spoilers. That's going to come back and bite him in the ass. <laughs> yeah, Not right. having, I never would have guessed, by the way, that if you had success, that type of little thing would really fuck you over, especially if you're firing one of the local's kids. Yeah, can't uh, have it. Can't have that. Can't, you got to play ball with some people. Yeah. You just, it's just the way it has to go. That's right. So all in all, good movie. A lot of it, though, I was just like, can't have it, dude. Come on. Fucking come on. Them telling me it's based on a true story, that one felt good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah Nicky kind of fucking, uh, you know, ginger on the side there in the middle of a trailer. Yeah. Interesting, fascinating situation. Mm -hmm. um, overall, good movie. Not a perfect movie. Not better than Goodfellas. No, okay. definitely not. So I had a lot of people text Agreed. me that are tweeting me that they thought it was better than Goodfellas. I did not think that was the case. Nope. But I enjoy Casino a lot. But it has, and it has, it is some one movie on the list of, for your point, Oh nine percent, point nine percent that you have to watch. Oh one percent, yeah. The yeah. the good math there. The we're figuring it out. I was actually getting more Italian while you were talking. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's just kind of a part of the whole. Hey, Italians, we're mafia people. We do mafia stuff all over the place. Right. Learned a lot about Kansas City, Detroit, yep. and other cities. I did not know Kansas City had such a, you know. Oh, yeah. Italian contingency. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. monsters. That was the closest they could get to Vegas without getting arrested or whatever. And then I enjoyed him talking about how back at home I'm getting crucified for doing this. Mm -hmm. Here I'm getting awards, giving speeches. That's kind of how I think a lot of potheads have felt whenever they're smoking <laughs> in a in a state where it's not legal and sure. it's like they're scared to death to drive everywhere or go anywhere if they have anything on them. And then get in these states where it's legal and you got a little a Tesla pulling up to you with a bag that's like leather, like, here's your weed, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is just, it's a, it's a crazy part of time there so i could relate to that was that critically acclaimed is that like a movie people think are very very is very very good scorsese on the flick yeah right? exactly so yeah it is critically acclaimed but I, it wasn't i mean to your point like it, it kind of it didn't really do as good as like because this was like three years after goodfellas came out maybe five years so they they kind of just ran it back a lot of the same characters it wasn't as critically acclaimed but i think in the long run like it's a cult classic for sure but was it 95 95 yeah there was so as soon as we seen it was uh, from 1995, I automatically assumed I'm not gonna make it through this. <laughs> uh -huh. This one's gonna put me to bed. And I'm lucky I didn't even look at the time at yeah. the beginning of the oh, movie. Two fifty-seven. 
I'm going to start doing that, I think. And that's probably yeah, going to scare should. me away from a lot of movies. And I feel like some of these movie reviews on these Mondays before football starts are going to have a lot of them be like, I didn't make it through the movie. Yeah. I couldn't make it through the movie. I was Fair impressed enough. that you did. Three hours. A long time. long time. See, I think that's a testament to the movie. Because if if it stinks, like completely stinks, there's no way you're throwing away two hours and 57 minutes. What's and this I, guy letting Ginger fucking come on in? Bad news. Could have had anybody. Yeah. Could have done anything you wanted. 43 years old, he said, I want to go ahead and do this. Now you already waited 40 some years, dude. I mean, yeah. keep on waiting. I guess what? the heart wants what it can't have. <laughs> Fucking Lester, though. I know. That guy, I know. That stinks. guy stinks. He, was he bad. does. He does. That guy, he was a pedophile, too, I believe. She oh, was yeah. dating him since she was yeah, 14. Yeah, when she was uh -huh. young, yeah. Real and blow in front of her kid. I mean, what are we well, doing you can't here? Get Amy out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger. <laughs> what, are we, what, what is Ace doing? That, so his heart, I think that's one of the things yeah. where it was just like in that uh, super duper Sandy Gems thing. Sure, uncut, uncut gems. gems. Uncut gems. Yeah, mm -hmm. that thing. I couldn't. I had no feeling for the fucking guy because mm -hmm. numerous times he could have cashed yeah. out and caught up. This is kind of the same thing with uh, me watching Old Ace. Numerous times he could have fucking got oh, yeah. out and saved himself from everything. So it's hard for me to really fall in love and, and be like, "Oh yeah, man, this stinks. This is happening for you." On the complete opposite, I'm watching like. You fucking deserve it, Bob. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's kind of a difficult feeling for me. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to have that. But if I would have cared about him, which I don't know if anybody does, which is tough, by the way. Mm -hmm. The only people that liked him was the people he was just giving money to. Right. And the people that were skimming a squint, uh, skim, I mean, that was, yeah. that was fucking quite a little operation. Yeah. Bad news. How nice with that, that suitcase just showing up oh. every single week after yeah. me, though. Some of that stuff, though, about how like things used to go in Vegas, like when they find the guys counting cards and they go back and he breaks his hand with the hammer and like stuff like that, that a thousand percent was happening back then. Like yeah. it, it is cool to see that. Oh, which hand do you shuffle with? And the guy said, uh, yeah. the guy said, my right hand. You can't shuffle with your left hand, only, your, only my right hand. Yeah. And I, he thought he was giving information away like, hey, if I'm ever in here, this is what I'm doing or not cheating or anything. Mm -hmm. Instead, it was immediate. Yeah. Hiya, hiya. How about the nerd that was actually doing the betting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting called back there. You want to take the hammer and the money, or do you just want to <laughs> yeah. walk out of here? No hammer. Uh, no hammer would be great. <laughs> guy had a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wonder what that other guy learned about that guy. Hey, you just let me get my hand busted for literally zero dollars because you wouldn't get your hand busted. I assume there was a little bit of a fallout between those two after they left. I think safe to yeah. assume. Safe <laughs> to assume. You enjoy Bob's performance, De Niro. It, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's awesome. He is. He's the uh, ace, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Pesci, yeah. too. Yeah. Pesci hysterical. Mm -hmm. So funny. He's this tall, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he is the enforcer in every Italian movie. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Pretty much. He, is that? Well, until, you know, he don't shine shoes no more. And... Yeah. Well, he ended up in a ditch in this one, too. No <laughs> he <story>. did, yeah. <laughs> alive. They buried him alive. Yeah. Him and his brother. Same grave. Cool. Uh -huh. yeah. By the way, good acting on the first guy. Good sell mm -hmm. into the fucking, into the hole. Yeah. yeah. It was a great sell. He... he he, it was a little bit of a rim job mm -hmm. around the hole he fell in there. And then all of a sudden he was flat. They were both alive while they buried him. Overall, give it a nice, I don't know, 7 out of 10. Okay. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. There you go. Pesci going from that to home alone. I didn't know he had that range. So range, he's just another fucking bad guy. Yeah. yeah. But still, a lot of cuts. Rumor, a lot of yeah, cuts. rumor yeah. has it it was yeah. actually very difficult for him to go from that to Home Alone because he kept saying fuck. And they're like, hey, Joe's PG. You can't, okay. you can't say fuck every you day. See, you see that little Macaulay Culkin little yeah. fuck over there? They right. should release the, the non-edited version oh. with the fuck. I believe they did like a three-minute clip, and it was super funny, if I remember correctly. He was quite a little swindler, that guy. He had a little operation going. All the boys went down, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's It is thinking back in time how people could get away with whatever. There were some things that took place and you think back, like, how could they have done that? And then it was like, oh, because there's no technology. Yeah, they, at all. They could do whatever the fuck they wanted. How about whenever he was in, like, four or five different cars, six different cars, mm -hmm. and they, like, they lost them or whatever? Nowadays, they would just have something tracking on every... Hey, boom, here he is. He's literally right here. And now... It's a much different world. But I enjoyed it. Mac, uh, another movie review Monday. Come to a complete. Uh, oh, thank you all so much. We got to figure out what I'm watching next weekend. Yep. Maybe Armageddon. With the wife. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe Armageddon. It's not a long one. That's not a long yeah, one. A lot I think of we, action. we might, might want to find like an hour and a half sweet spot for you. Yeah. You see John Wick? <laughs> Have you seen John oh, Wick? Okay. I think John Wick would be a good one. Yeah. Okay. We're watching John Wick. There we go. There's That's a few a of those, too. There's numerous Johns, right? Yeah, yeah there is. Right now. Which one's the fourth. one am I watching? The first one. Yeah. It's about it's 90 one. minutes. Keanu kills about 180 guys in it, and it is balls to the walls from the get-go. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. so that's that's 
John Wick One. Yes. yes. Just John Wick is what it's and called. And this is on Prime? Uh, it's, it's on one of the streaming services for that sure. That is 